Hello mortals. Since mid-2022, the field of artificial intelligence has experienced an unprecedented boom. From Dolly 2, a powerful image generation model that crushed the dreams of many aspiring digital artists, to ChatGPT, the holy grail of students fed up with writing essays and an existential threat to programmers. Chances are if you watch this video years from now, different AI models will have become ingrained into most aspects of our society, revolutionizing the way we work, learn, and interact with technology. But there is a specific objective in the field of AI, which when reached, would significantly alter the course of humanity. That point is the development of an artificial general intelligence model, an agent that can understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can, essentially the artificial equivalent of the human brain. So let's discuss the different ways that it could be achieved. Let's start with some predictions. In the 2022 expert survey on progress in AI, experts estimate that there's a 50% chance that high-level machine intelligence will occur by 2050, with 90% of participants thinking that AGI is likely to happen by 2075. There's even a good share believing it will happen by the end of the 2020s. But the general consensus is that it will most definitely happen by the end of this century, marking a pivotal point in human history. A thousand years from now, our successors will look back at the 21st century as the beginning of the transition of humanity to a Type 1 civilization. With all that in mind, however, the current AI text models are just very sophisticated and useful chatbots. They are not conscious, they don't have actual emotions, nor can they think. They are just very good at pretending. And the more developed they become, the better at pretending they will be. However a language learning model will never suddenly gain consciousness. For that, we need different approaches. But before that, AI is not the only field that has seen recent significant progress. The well-being industry has also experienced revolutionary transformations that have affected our world. And one of the forefront leaders in well-being innovation is our proud partner, Foreo Sweden, a visionary brand that has disrupted the wellness space where beauty and technology meet. Their skincare devices use T-sonic pulsations that penetrate the skin's outer layers, providing a low-frequency massage that helps to relieve muscle tension in the face and neck, thus improving blood flow. Introducing Bear by Foreo, the world's first FDA-cleared medical microcurrent device with an anti-shock system. This innovative device gently energizes and firms the 69 muscles in your face and neck, visibly improving signs of aging, elasticity, collagen production, and skin cell turnover, while tightening fine lines and wrinkles. If you're searching for a gift for a special occasion, look no further than the Foreo Bear, as it stands out as one of the most groundbreaking self-care gadgets you can give to someone you love. Don't miss out on the chance to experience this revolutionary technology for yourself. Get your hands on the Foreo Bear today by following the special link in the description. Now back to our video. Perhaps in order to create an AGI, we wouldn't even need to understand the concepts of consciousness or awareness, which can be left to philosophers to figure out. It might just be enough to do the same thing that nature is already doing, evolution through natural selection. Pseudonatural selection in our case. We already know that cosmic and subsequently biological evolution has resulted in intelligence at least once that we know of. We still didn't pinpoint the exact factor that resulted in the evolution of human intelligence. It could have been the social environments that forced the Uga Bugas to widen their cortex, as to be able to understand and navigate social relationships and hierarchies, as well as to respond to social cues, communicate using a spoken language, and strategize within social contexts. And as such, the Uga Bugas with mutations that favored their adaptability survived, while their less intelligent brethren perished. That's the evolution of intelligence 101. And now, with this knowledge in mind, we could similarly try to evolve artificial intelligence. If natural intelligence took billions of years to evolve, a virtual downscaled simulation could achieve results a billion times faster. We already use evolutionary algorithms to train AIs to run and jump, but that's a very narrow scope. If we want a human-like AGI, we should put it through a similar level of evolutionary pressure as humans have been through. 
Due to hardware limitations, we currently wouldn't be able to simulate an environment to the level of bacteria running for billions of years, so we'd need to severely oversimplify it while keeping the evolutionary pressure on. We'd start by throwing a couple thousand or million rudimentary AI agents into the simulated environment. This environment must have finite resources and natural dangers to drive competition and the need for cooperation. Macronutrients, omnivores, and large prey animals with formidable defenses must be simulated, along with toolmaking and communication channels. The world must respond realistically and allow for significant disadvantages for falling and injury. Social structures drove the development of higher intelligence, and challenges in the environment that can only provide an advantage if exploited as a group must be simulated, along with genetic coding for variable levels of aggression. A scoring mechanism to track the relative performance of each organism and fit individuals for mating and reproduction is necessary, along with periodic rapid changes to the environment, such as a significant climate change, to provide evolutionary pressure for adaptability. It would require tremendous computing power to simulate such a large world, but no dramatic leaps forward in technology. If all goes to plan, we might end up with an AI that has evolved in a similar manner to humans and that shares common values and goals. The only issue is, human values and goals can be a terrible thing to project onto AIs. That was like the entire plot of Frankenstein. Humans are flawed, and their values are often based on selfishness. Achieving a superintelligent AI only for it to enslave humanity and aim for becoming as rich and powerful as it possibly can, wouldn't end up pretty. So maybe replicating life in the exact image of man is not what we want exactly. Perhaps using that as a starting template, but then manipulating the evolutionary pressure to result in maximum altruism and wholesomeness is the better way to go about it. And in order to get that starting template, we'd need to utilize whole brain emulation. On paper that's easy. Assuming nothing supernatural goes on inside the brain, it would be enough to scan it and digitally convert it into a computer interface, thus resulting in an artificial brain. But if it were that easy, we would have already done it. The human brain is currently the most complex known system in the universe, even more so than black holes. On average it contains 86 billion neurons, each of them having roughly 7,000 synaptic connections to other neurons. That's a staggering 600 trillion synapses. And every second, 100 billion neurons are firing 5 to 50 messages each. You get where I'm going. It is very 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 hard to even start mapping the brain. And even if we found a meaningful way to do it, it would require a very extensive amount of computational power and storage. And even then, due to the complexity of the digital model, the simulated brain might run much slower than a biological one due to hardware constraints, and you'll end up with an artificial general non-intelligence. But what if instead of a whole brain emulation, we try a whole brain imitation? Instead of replicating the brain down to each neuron and synapse, we could have a big neural network that will train itself on the inputs and outputs of the biological brain. We'd still need to record a huge amount of brain activity, and the corresponding input and output of the human, and then train the neural network to react to the input given the output and the corresponding brain activity, in a sense a supervised machine learning algorithm. That would result in a neural network that imitates the brain but requires a much lower complexity, and wouldn't require that we understand the underlying mechanisms of the biological brain. The downside is that we'd have no idea how the neural network operates on the inside, as it would essentially act as a black box, something that neural networks are infamously known for. It is pretty clear that we don't currently have a clear roadmap to getting to an AGI as of now. It might be one of the previously mentioned techniques, or more likely a combination of them. It might be an entirely different technique that we didn't even yet consider. But one thing is clear. Achieving true artificial general intelligence will be the most defining moment in the history of humankind. And that moment is coming closer each day. And when the artificial overlords will be here. Hello mortals. You already know what to do in order to be spared.